The classic flap from Chanel. Want the look of the bag but for a much lower price? Stay tuned. Hello there everyone. Today we will be talking about a few bag alternatives to the Chanel classic flap that's now becoming a quite hard to get bag. In case you guys didn't know, Chanel has been in some numerous price increases over the past few years. Here we have some price list from PurseBop that shows 2019 prices for some of the classic flaps and how much they cost now in 2023. You can view the PurseBop articles through the links provided on the description below. Notice how much price increase happened to these bags. We can see a $4,400 increase for the small and medium flaps and $4,600 for the jumbo. Now you might ask, why is Chanel doing all these price increases? Apparently, the brand has been firm and consistent with their price increases which happens twice in a year. And also, I think the brand is trying to elevate their brand value and how people see Chanel. With that said, their classics and most sought-after pieces, like the Chanel Classic Flaps valuation continues to rise, both in the aspect of price and its image as a must-have but hard-to-get bag. And now the question is, is it worth it to get a classic Chanel? My answer would be a yes and a no. Yes, because it's an investment bag. As the brand is trying to make the classic flap a hard-to-get bag, the demand for it in the resale market increases, that even the prices for it in the pre-loved market goes higher and higher, reaching as close as the retail price of when the bag was bought in the past, or even higher than that. But if you're someone who doesn't want to view the bag to be resold and intended to be passed on to future generations, this bag is a great heirloom piece. However, the brand is under fire for their quality control in the past few years. Issues of misaligned leather quilting, leather peeling especially on the leather on the chain strap, the caviar leather feels cheap and plasticky, metallic hardware color plating easily fading, are some of the complaints against the brand and how they produce their products, especially their most desired classic flaps. Consumers who are very eager to get a Chanel flap, may opt to dive into the resale and pre-loved market and search for it, but that idea might be quite dangerous. Counterfeiters are now very meticulous in making these super fake bags, that it's very difficult to spot the difference between the authentic piece over the counterfeit in plain sight. Especially now that genuine Chanel classic flaps have quality issues that would really make you think twice if it's real or not, unless you buy it directly from the boutique. That being said, it would be a logical option not to bite the bullet and gamble for a Chanel classic flap and look for other options instead. Now for some alternatives of the classic flap, we group the bags into tiers. Highest being Group A, which consists of bags bearing three of the main physical attributes of a Chanel bag, being the quilted material, having chain straps, and the turnlock closure. Bags that fall under Group B have the same attributes, except for the turnlock. We start with Group B first. But before we dive into it, make sure to please hit that subscribe button to support this channel. Starting with alternatives from Group B, is the Claire Crossbody with Linear Quilting, from Coach. It has the quilting but the closure is not a turnlock. Plus, there is a front pocket in which the Chanel Classic Flap has, but is just seen once you flip the bag flap. Nevertheless, this is a nice option and generally speaking, Coach bags are pretty well made. Next is the Soho Large Studded Quilted Leather Shoulder Bag from Michael Kors. Everything looks great, the quilting, and the lock looks pretty nice and secured. Another one is the Jackhammer 24, Strat Quilted Canvas Shoulder Bag from Off-White. What I love about this bag is that it has a classic silhouette, but has some edgy details, and is very on brand with Off-White. Also on the list is the Fleming Convertible Shoulder Bag from Tory Burch. This is a good option too because this bag is arguably a Tory Burch classic. Next we have the Lola Check Quilted Leather Shoulder Bag from Burberry, which is also a great option. Another one is the Versace Virtus Quilted Shoulder Bag. Versace is closely associated to black and gold, which is also the combination that most people would go for when buying a Chanel bag. Next is the Medium Envelope Chain Shoulder Bag from San Loro, which has been available for years and in my opinion, is a classic bag of the brand. Another one is the Balmain 1945 Medium Quilted Monogram Shoulder Bag, which featured a pattern of Balmain as its quilting. Although not a turnlock, its closure is great because I feel like it's more secure than the magnet type, and I love it. 
Next is the large lotte quilted bag from Aspinall of London. I love the closure of this bag. However, I don't know if it is as durable as if it was a turnlock. We also have this Eddie Flap shoulder bag from Rebecca Minkoff. What I highly appreciate about this bag is that we can see the quilting design all over the bag, given that it's already a great option for its price. You might notice that some of these bags are not full chain straps, like the one found on Chanel Classic Flaps. In terms of functionality and comfort, these leather straps are better, especially if you're carrying the bag on your shoulder for long periods of time. Also, it does not create any dents on the flap when you wear the bag crossbody, or on a long shoulder length. The only disadvantage that I can think of, is it looks quite unappealing, compared to a full chain strap. Now, moving on to the next group of bags. This time, bearing three physical characteristics of a Chanel classic flap. First on the list is the Eileen Puffer Quilted Leather Crossbody Bag, by Ted Baker. This bag is a great option. Its turnlock might not be similar to the simple turnlock version on Chanel Classic Flap, but on this one, it is quite interesting. I like it. Next is the Asia Leather Magnolia Quilted Shoulder Bag, also by Ted Baker. Two options from the same brand, very impressive. Quilting. Check. Turnlock. Check. Although I'm not a fan of the flower hardware. But what I should note on the hardware design is that, the turnlock is camouflaged with the flower because the flower is quite big and sculpture-like. Also on the list is the Evelyn Quilted Medium Convertible Shoulder Bag from Kate Spade. Quilting all over. Check. Turnlock. Check. We also have the Madison Quilted Convertible Shoulder Bag, from Coach. I love how they make the letter C of the Coach brand, as part of the hardware the bag, similar to how Chanel used the interlocking C's as the turnlock hardware. It also bears some similar characteristics to the Chanel Classic, like the quilting, and the chain strap having some leather strip woven in between. Next is the Quilted Gonchio Leather Shoulder Bag, by Salvatore Ferragamo. This is a great bag option on a higher level of brand prestige. Quilting is there, chain strap is there. What I must appreciate in this bag is that, similar to Chanel and a few other brands mentioned earlier, I love how they used their Goncini logo as the hardware design for the turnlock. However, I kind of feel like the logo as a quilting pattern on the bag itself, is giving me an impression that it's quite overdone, given the fact that you can see the same logo on the hardware. Overall, I love how classic this bag looks like. And finally the Agnes shoulder bag from Karl Lagerfeld Paris. Coincidentally, Karl Lagerfeld, who was Chanel's creative director for a long time and the genius behind the classic flap, is the namesake brand behind the Agnes. But you must not confuse the brand Karl Lagerfeld Paris, with the Karl Lagerfeld brand. Karl Lagerfeld Paris is a little cheaper, than the latter. I love how it has the linear quilting design, although only found on the flap, the chain strap with interwoven leather strip in between, and the turnlock which is more similar to the original Chanel Classic bag, which is the 2.55. This Agnes bag is simple yet chic, and it's way less expensive than Chanel. I love this bag a lot. In the end, the choice is yours whether your heart is really into the Chanel Classic flap, regardless of the price, and the issues surrounding the brand, or you'll just consider some cheaper options instead. Whatever makes you happy, then go for it. And that's it, which of these bags did you find attractive, and a great alternative to the Classic flap, that you might consider getting? Let me know by leaving your comments down below. I hope you like this video by leaving a thumbs up, and please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and until next time. Bye bye.